Welcome back to my channel for today. I have this look here. I think it's a good fall look, but is it still fall or is it winter already? Because we had snow here two days back. I have this simple cut crease look with a brown lip. Haven't done that in a while. Oh yeah, it's a drugstore video. I always forget to mention that whenever I'm filming a drugstore video, but it's a drugstore video and I use products that I absolutely love, mm, that I really recommend you guys. Make sure to hit the notification bell since I am now on a schedule so that you do not have to like check on my channel and look if there's a video up then you will be just up to date whenever I post a video. So that's the little bell somewhere, I think down here. I actually don't know where it is. And make sure to subscribe. And you can, by the way, always request something that you would like to see, because I'm always going through my comments. That was enough of promoting myself. You can also, by the way, follow me on Snapchat and Instagram. It's the same as here on my YouTube. It's also in the description box. Thank you very much. So if you want to know how I created this look, then keep on watching. I need some lip oil. Oh, here. So my lips are super, super dry now. By the way, I burned myself, so it's not poop or something. My lips are so dry now in the winter. I've been using this Kiehl's Lip Treatment Butter Stick uh, now for three days, and it's doing my lips really good. Mm. So I'm using products that um, I just received, so they are, just came out, and I will post a unboxing video this Friday. You can see what I received, and I swatched some stuff. So I'm going to start off with the Morphe Brow Pencil in the color Java, starting with brushing them up. Okay, so I used this brow pencil a while back, but now, I don't know, it's so much darker. It's really like a Frida Moncarlo effect at this moment. But with this dramatic makeup that I'm going to put on, it will probably be not that bad. I'm going for it. So I'm going to use this Age Rewind concealer to clean up my brows. And then with this mini beauty blender, I'm going to apply the same concealer on my whole lid as a eyeshadow base. I do have to say that I like the Tarte Shape Tape the most as a concealer base for eyeshadows. But right now it's a drugstore video, so I'm using my favorite drugstore concealer. So now I'm going to use a new palette that I received yesterday from BH Cosmetics. And that's this really beautiful matte eyeshadow palette. By the way, all the products will be in the description box. This is the T8IA palette. And I'm first going into this color here. And I am just yeah, blending that into my crease with a big blending brush. So do you guys have any plans for the holidays or for New Year's Eve or day? I am going to not really celebrate New Year's Eve. I'm going with my best friends. We are going to stay home, watch movies and chill at home with her dogs because they are scared for the firework so and all the, the sounds. So we are going to be with them too. I love dogs. I love them so much. I miss my dogs every day. So I love to be with other people's dogs. I just love dogs. I don't really like this color as a transition actually, but yeah, now I already went for it. But I want it to be a little bit more brown. So I'm going to into the color that's next to it. So this color here. Now with the Morphe M573, I'm going to do the same thing, blend it in my crease. And with this color, I'm going to focus it also on my outer V. So now I'm going in with this color here and a clean blending brush and I'm going to blend out the edge. So the edge is blended and now I want to darken that crease even more. So I'm going in with this color here and with my favorite blending brush, the Morphe M506. It's a precise blending brush and I always use this for every um, cut crease look 
or oh my god i want to do a cut crease after this one or like a winked out cut crease i think i already said that in another video but now for real <laughs> my next video but yeah i always use this to deepen my crease this brush is just magic So now I am going to clean up the lid with that same concealer. And now I'm going to apply this cream steal your man eyeshadow from NYX on top of this. Okay, when I swatched this yesterday, it worked really good, but now I cannot. Maybe I should use this with my finger because it's picking up a lot with my finger, but with a brush it's just impossible. But I need to use a brush right now to be precise, to get like next to that line. But I'm just going to do the same thing on this eye. And then I'm going to just apply another eyeshadow on top of this, because this ain't working. So I'm going to use this also, this is also a new BH Cosmetics palette and this is a collaboration with Sylvia. I don't know if I pronounce that in an English way but we would say it in the Netherlands like that, we would pronounce it like that. So this is a new palette, a collaboration with BH Cosmetics and her. I'm going into this color here. Going into that with that darker brown color and I'm just going to darken the outer feet a little bit and blend that together. And now I'm going in with this NYX Glitter Goals Liquid Eyeshadow. And I hope that I will not ruin my eyeshadow with this because I've never worked with something like this. I don't know if I'm going to use this brush for that. I don't think so. I want to have something more precise. I don't want it to come into my crease line because then the whole look is just messed up and it's really hard to fix. This is a scary moment. Oh, but it's so beautiful. Wow, I'm only going to apply that in the inner part. And now I'm going to use this highlighter from this Morphe 8H palette, contouring palette. I'm going to use this highlighter here to highlight my brow bone and highlight my inner corner. And then my inner corner. Now I'm going to apply my favorite, one of my favorite lashes. And I love these because they are cruelty free. Okay, so these are my favorite lashes. They're amazing. But today I'm so happy that I didn't share how I stick them on because I'm struggling with that every time. So I'm first, no, I'm first going to start off with the NYX Pores No More. Pores No More, that's, that's from Dr. Brands, right? Um, I mean the pore filler NYX. Primer. Let me know what your favorite NYX products are so that I can try them out or maybe I have them but never try them um, So that I can just try them out. I would love to know that because really NYX has really good products Really guys and it's so cheap especially if you're beginning with makeup I recommend you guys two brands and that are Morphe and NYX definitely they are cheap and really good I started with Morphe then I'm going to try out this Away We Glow strobing cream and the outside looks kind of green so I hope it's just it's not green on my skin. What am I doing? Who blends out primer with a mini blending brush? So I haven't used this product in a while, the Drops Foundation, Drop Foundation, Total Control Drop Foundation from NYX. So I don't know which color I have and that's super annoying because I want to buy another one. I noticed that I love it more to have a dark, a little bit of a darker foundation, not too much, but just a tiny bit and then fix it with concealer so that I do not look so white. Forgot how good this foundation was. Also this foundation is just not expensive. Okay, I'm just going to look up. So uh, they sell it for $14. So that's really cheap because it does look like a small foundation, but this is so thin, so you can use this for so long. I'm going to use the Age Rewind concealer. I took off the tip. It's not really um, 
clean keep using that sponge that's on here and without being able to clean it so uh, a lot of bacteria can get in there and uh, we don't want that for our skin but the formula is amazing so I actually got this tip from my sister but I apply it onto my uh, hands and then apply it with concealer brush but I really recommend you guys this concealer if you live in the Netherlands or in Germany or in Belgium go to the DM because there it's only eight euros I always buy it there oh my god yes this concealer oh I'm going to uh, grab or use an oldie but a goodie I have been using this powder actually in the beginning in every look because I couldn't afford another powder and um, this one was cheap it's only like 13 euros on Beauty Bay so it's really cheap now I have some other powders that I like more I'm going to press it in right away I'm not going to bake this time the RCMA translucent powder I think I forgot to tell you but uh, all the products will be in the description box and the links and I will make sure to put everything in order so that it's easier for you to see which product came after the other if you do not know the names from the products that makes it easier for you I think so now I'm going to bronze up with this Morphe palette no the 8H palette going into this color here I'm going to use the HW, W, how do I say that? W. W. So I'm going to use this 8W. I'm going into this one. And then for my highlights, I'm going to use this BH Cosmetics highlighting palette. And I'm going to just wet my brush, yes, with some dewy finish spray from NYX. I'm going to mix these two. I think that's a perfect combo. Oh yes. Wow. Do you see that? Wow. And I always love to highlight my cheeks still here because when I smell I have this little disco ball cheek but I'm living for it. Also highlighting the nose. A little bit above my lips now I'm going to spray some dewy finish spray oh yeah that's enough I'm going to apply the morphe brow gel it's just a clear brow gel but I love to brush my brow hairs up I'm starting to look like a doll going back into the amazing matte palette going into the brown color with this smudge brush i'm going to blend that on the outer part of my lower eyeball till here till the middle i really want to apply a brown lipstick that's why i'm wearing this brown scarf but i'm now at this moment kind of scared to do it but i think i'm going for it i'm going to use this nyx matte lip liner in cold brew And now I'm going to use the liquid sweat. I'm also going to look how you pronounce that. Suede. Suede. I always have been saying sweat, but that's like sweat. Suede. 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 I'm going to use the NYX Liquid Suede Cream Lipstick in the color 22. And I really, really love this formula. It's a really amazing formula. Is this too much, this lipstick, or is it good? In my little scream there, it looks really dramatic, but yeah. I really wanted to go for a darker lip. I haven't done that in a while, I think. So, um, yeah. Let me know what you guys think. I hope you guys like the look. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure to hit the notification bell so that you will be updated for all my videos. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next one.